Coming up next is Entrepreneurs Anonymous. Stay tuned. Scotiabank can help you get your business growing. It all starts with a conversation. Talk to one of our business banking advisors today. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com Everyone has a dream, but only a special few have a story. A story about the journey from idea to enterprise. These special few know about the addiction that causes you to grow, to risk, to build, to share. This is their story. Welcome to Entrepreneurs Anonymous. I'm Destra Garcia, and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, Destra, uh, started off from very humble beginnings. I grew up in Laventil. Uh, a lot of people know Laventil um, with the negative stigma that is attached to it. Um, some people call it the ghetto, but that is where I'm from and that is always going to be home to me. I had a very different experience for me growing up in Laventil. Yeah, you had the bad parts, but for me, there were also some very memorable experiences and Christmases and Easter and Carnival, steel band, people in general bathing by the standpipe, bringing water, you know. I have a lot of fond memories that some people would be like, you know, ew, <laughs> that, is not, that is not something to be proud of. But I am proud because it, it shaped me and molded me and made me who I am. I'm, I think I'm a very down-to-earth person. I started in primary school. Um, my teacher, Janice Roach, she found that I was very brave because I used to participate in a lot of competitions in the school stuff, like mental competitions, reading competitions. And she said, you're brave, you know, and I find you have a nice voice, so maybe you should enter this competition. And I mean, I was just nine, and, you know, I wasn't sure what she was saying, but she was my teacher, and she taught me this calypso that she wrote called Common Entrance. And I went into uh, into school competition uh, at St. Agnes Anglican, because I used to go to St. Crispin Anglican. And I won. It was my first competition, my first time on stage. I rehearsed and rehearsed for weeks. And getting on stage, it was just kind of robotic. And, and, you know, it's almost like I just did it. I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't like, OK, I'm so excited. I wasn't, I really didn't care. I was just doing it because my teacher taught me how to do it. And I remember Craig and Mandela being there, Brother Resistance being there as judges. And I went on stage, I performed, I used the stage the way she told me, I held the mic the way she told me, I stomped my feet the way she said, and then I won. And I had this huge trophy that was bigger than me. And the people kept cheering and, and clapping. And it was at that moment that I said, you know, this is kind of cool. I really like this, you know. Maybe I should do this all the time. And after that, year after year, we went and we registered for different competitions until I left primary school and went into secondary school doing the same thing. You know, so that, that was the beginning of it all. Um, people get mixed up and they don't understand that there are two different people that live inside of me. There's the Destra that is real and down to earth and just normal that isn't really, you know, phased by fashion or money or, or driving a Benz or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just me. I just want to survive and take care of my daughter and cook or, or clean or just be normal. And then there's a Destra that climbs the stage and just knows how to thrill an audience or does anything to make people scream or, you know, when, when I get on a stage, that is like a passion of mine. So it's almost like I become somebody else. So there are two people living inside of me. And then, you know, I guess Destra has, has grown from strength to strength. Every year there's this challenge to be better than the last. There's a challenge to create great music, to perform well, to stay at the top of your game, 
to always be, to always keep people interested in you. And then of course, to continue generating an income because this is all you do for the most part. You know, because this is this is the um, the the center of it all. Because if this wheel doesn't turn, then all the other things that you're embarking on, whether it's branding, taking the brand further, or just investing in other things, you can't do it unless you make this happen. You know, so. I would define myself as a strong positive, motivated woman. Um, I always try to be better. I always try to push myself. Um, I never accept limitations. That could be bad in one way because I'm a bit of a workaholic. But um, I think it's my duty to keep myself active and to always be successful, to be a success. This is something I've dreamed of my entire life. Growing up in poverty makes you want to work harder. In some cases, some in some cases, you just that's what you know and that's what you become. But for me, I've always wanted to be better, and I've pushed myself, I've motivated myself, and in that process, I became strong. And you know, here I am. I'm most passionate about my music, my daughter, my spirituality. Um, I think my spirituality keeps me grounded and keeps my sanity because I could lose my mind at any given moment because the world of music is so unpredictable and it's so crazy that you need to have something to believe in and something to fall back on when things get rough. My daughter keeps me happy. So no matter how bad things get or how devastated I feel or frustrated or alone, she's always there to put me back together because how could something so perfect and you know, how could you be depressed and you have something so perfect being a part of your life or coming from you. Well, everybody knows how I get on stage. And I think it's good to have an escape. And the stage is my escape. Everything that I think about doing or everything that I'm too timid to do as myself, when I get on stage, I do it. So if I want to wear these short shorts, which I would not wear in public, I'd wear it on stage because then I become somebody else. If I want to say something or become, you know, aggressive, or, you know, be this alter ego that is a feminist because I'm not a feminist off the stage, but on stage it's like, woman power, we could do anything, we could mash up them fellas. Yeah, I could do it on stage. <laughs> so that is my passion, you know, those are my passions and those things. I mean, I didn't mention my family and loved ones and friends, but all the people that I love and care about are people that I'm also very passionate about that support all these things. So they're very much a part of my umbrella and my circle and things that keep me safe and keep me passionate about things that I love. Life is full of possibilities, just waiting to be discovered. At Scotiabank, we believe in possibilities. For over a hundred years, our customers have looked to us to help them uncover what's possible in life, in their finances, and in their future. Because when you believe that anything is possible, anything is. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. Hi, my name is Danny Fenty, the owner of and creative director at Vivid Gear Studios. We are a design studio dedicated to producing quality, affordable, cutting edge, creative solutions for your productions. Amongst our other services, we produce high-end motion design, music, and 2D animation that will surely engage your target audience. But ask any entrepreneur. Starting your own business is not the easiest task in the world. It takes hard work, lots of time, and a whole lot of patience, not to mention risk. That's why we support Entrepreneurs Anonymous, a support network for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. A place, a haven, where we can share our experiences, provide solutions, as well as give and receive encouragement. It is an ideal place for any entrepreneur, no matter how young or how old. Entrepreneurship is an addiction, and let's face it, we need our circle. If you like this show, share it with your friends. Watch your favorite shows on demand and in HD on Trident10.tv.
my aha moment, which is, this is what I'm going to do. Aha, this is it. Happened um, by, not by accident, but by force. It wasn't a choice because I grew up thinking about and knowing about stability. And you need a, you need an eight to four, eight to five to make money, something steady where you can have your benefits and whatever. But when I started to sing with Roy Cape and the situation arose to tour and I couldn't get more than two weeks off, <laughs> um, I had no choice. It's either or. It's either I stayed and did, I don't want to say a boring job because I liked my job and I was great at it, but I really liked singing more. It was easier. When I say easier, it was effortless. Doing my job that I do now, I don't have to think too much. It's natural for me. I'd go on stage and half the time I'm like, um, did I prepare enough for the show? I don't know because I just packed my suitcase, got on a plane, got to the show, slept all day because I was jet lagged, got up the next day, did sound check, and now I'm on the stage. Did I, did I plan enough? And it just kind of happens. It's like clockwork, it's a part of me. So I think. That aha moment happened by force. I had no choice. It was either or. And I'm glad I made the decision to stick with music because it's something that I've loved my entire life. And I'm good at it. You find that aha moment when you know, hey, this is easy. I can do this with my eyes closed, with my hands tied behind my back, with my legs chopped off. I can still do this. You know, and this is something I'm good at. My family thought I was crazy at first. Um, but I'm, a, I'm part of a family that is very open and supportive. So when you make mistakes, you make them on your own. When you have your successes, though you have a support system, you have your success on your own. So they just kind of leave you to either make a mistake or to be successful. And when I told them, I said, listen, I, because I had trembled at the time and the song was huge. It was playing on the radio. Everybody was calling, the phones were going crazy. And I had just come off of a canvas season making more money than I was making just sitting behind a desk or doing sales or whatever. And I said, you know what, if I could do this in one carnival season, could you imagine what I could do after that? And I would admit that it was not a bell of roses. It was not as successful as it became later on because the year after Trimblet, after quitting my job, I did not have as great a year as I did the year before. So I felt like I made a mistake. But then the year after that was the year that I sang It's Carnival, which is still a classic today. And my career just skyrocketed and it never went, there was no turning back after that. So I guess by now, my parents think that I'm, I was not crazy, even though for a minute, for a split second, they probably did. But now I'm sure they knew that I did make the best decision. Well, I think I'm an entrepreneur in many ways, but for the most part, a lot of people know that Destra is a brand. And, you know, I sing, I write, I perform, I tour the world. And, you know, I think I have taken my brand from one level to the next, you know, from going from anonymous to being a household name. That in itself is great branding, great advertising, great marketing, great selling and all these different skills you need to be an entrepreneur, to be someone that runs a business. Because to run the Destra brand, it is a business. There are a lot of people involved. There are marketing people, there are sales people, there are advertising people. Destra, the brand, the person that goes on stage is not the person that you're seeing now. And, you know, the person that you're seeing now is one of the people that actually spearheads the project, Destra. And I think that is what makes me an entrepreneur because I've taken myself, the brand, and made it global. Well, to me, an entrepreneur is someone that really takes that risk, goes out there, has an idea, um, looks at what the niche market is and, and kind of capitalizes on that, and basically generates an income um, to survive and does it well, you know, enough to do it on more than one occasion and, and actually have that as a job or or something that they could fall back on or survive doing. I never see anything in three ways. <laughs> I'm a explaining kind of girl. But I think an entrepreneur is someone that, you know, more or less takes a risk. So I guess risk would be one of those words. 
um, knows how to sell um, and knows how to make a profit. You know, um, if you combine the three and you have a good product, then you're bound to make some money and be successful at it. I, my greatest trial is myself. I, um, I think that everyone needs to understand that you are your own worst enemy. You could excel at almost anything that you put your mind to, but sometimes negativity reigns and I am, the pers I am a person that wears my heart on my sleeve. You know, I'm very emotional. If I love, I love hard. If I'm angry, I, I get angry hard. If I'm sad, I'm super depressed. I swear I want to kill myself or commit suicide. <laughs> you know, so, and you know, I really try. I try my best to control my emotions, but I understand that it's my sign. I'm Scorpio, by the way. And um, I, just, I just get so much into my emotions and I can't control it sometimes. So a lot of times in my career, whether it, it's, been, it's been a challenge, keeping my temper on the wraps. And, you know, it's almost like, I guess too, because I grew up being strong and defending myself and always being on the defensive, that if something happens, I'm the first to jump at it. Like, you can't do that to me because I know I see what you're doing, you know? So I'm never the type to just sit back and say, okay, you can poke up my eyes, that's fine. I'll just get new ones, I'll get class ones. I've never been that way. If I see you coming to poke my eyes out, I'll stop you and, and do my, I'll fight you. I'll try my best to just get around it. And in this business that I'm in, it's not always the right approach. You have to really practice diplomacy and you really have to stop and think before you act, you know? And a lot of times in the past, I've just lashed out like, you know, a, a pit bull, almost. Like somebody coming to damage man is like, ah! <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think with maturity and age brings reason and it's a good thing that I could look back and you know really draw from my experiences and learn from them and not make the same mistakes you know because you can't take yourself so seriously you can't take the business so seriously this business is filled with a lot of people looking for the next big thing or the next big forward or it doesn't even matter who you have to step on to get ahead and I just thought everything was everything. I thought everything was rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns, you know, and hearts and little stars. I didn't realize that, you know, this is a doggy dog world and it's every man for the South. So now I know that and, you know, I kind of prepare differently. So that has been my biggest challenge and most memorable challenge. And, and everything negative and positive has been in that. So it's hard to take it apart, but it's somewhere in there mixed up. Scotiabank can help you get your business growing. It all starts with a conversation. Talk to one of our business banking advisors today. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com when visiting Trinidad, the place to stay is Shaconia Hotel, a gorgeous boutique-style hotel snuggled in the scenic Marval Hills, great for a vacation or honeymoon, and perfect for a business trip. Our business center is equipped with high-speed internet, fax, and photocopying services. Ask about our special rates and packages. Just visit www.shaconiahotel.com or call us at one 868 628-3210. So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces she'll liat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm, must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance and a car. But sort of sensible. <laughs> Liat.com. What else do you need? The Destra brand right now is centered around me and whatever I think it should be. Um, I change all the time. So 
I go from being one way to being the next way and I, I think I have a lot of foreign influences because I believe that music has reached its pinnacle overseas. R&B, hip hop, pop, they are enjoying a lot of the benefits of what music has to offer. And for me, I will always be trying to take music to that level. It's not easy because our music, like they like to say, is not palatable to, to most people, to the masses. But, you know, we're going to keep working. And by we, I mean, you know, we have an industry. It's not very united, but we do have an industry. And everybody in their own way is trying to do whatever little to make the music palatable and make the music what it needs to be and take it where it needs to go. And I'm going to continue doing that in my way. When I can't do it myself, I think the Destra brand may change name, but it's, it's going to be something that I'll always be passionate about. So even if we change the name of it to um, Fries and Coleslaw, <laughs> I'm just saying. Somebody else would be running the ship, but I would still be in the back trying to pull the strings to make it happen. Because I'm not going to be young forever, and I'm not going to be so... My, my muscles and, and, and my bones are not going to be so flexible all the time to do the things that I do. And I think that the minute that I stop being as agile or stop being what people perceive me to be and change, I know I'm going to have to change at some point, like a butterfly, maybe do something else, even if it's in music and not just be on stage going crazy. I think I'm going to still try to invest in someone younger to carry it on and carry on the brand and carry on my work, maybe in their own way, but I'll still be a part. BMW Keys to Success, powered by McInerney Quality Incorporated. If I were to tell anyone, you know, what are the keys of success? It, you know, in a nutshell, just whatever you're doing, do it well. And to, to do something well, first of all, you need to have a passion for it. If you don't have a passion for it, you're just going to be doing it in vain. Never be driven by just money. Because, I mean, they say money is the root of all evil, yes, but you can't share someone else's passion so that's why if you're an employee and you're working for someone else you're helping them attain their vision and you're helping them be successful you're not really helping yourself be successful you're making money you're saving money whatever but passion working hard towards something that you believe in making it great that is ultimately one of the biggest things that i could tell you in terms of following that route of, of success. Hard work as well, because nothing comes easy. Um, if you know you want to have your own business or you have something that you want to push further or, or something that you want to become successful, you need to put in the hours. You need to work hard. You need to know that you're not going to sleep very much. But there's going to come a time when things are going to taper off and you're going to be fine. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. I. For me, I've just worked hard. I've never accepted limitations. I've always tried to be better than the last time I did something. So in terms of making music or performing or just being the brand, whether it's the image or having a website or an app or whatever, I try to push myself further and further each time to just be better than the last time. So when people see me, it's like, hey, you see that? You know, something to make you, you know, stop and look because it can't be monotonous. It's like, yeah, I see that already. Or, yeah, she do that already. You know, you have to keep changing, even if it's subtle. Honor, integrity, and passion are at the core of Chivas Regal Scotch Whiskey. These values are also attributes found in the entrepreneurs featured in Entrepreneurs Anonymous. We call them Modern Knights. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit and need help getting your own business started, Shivas would like to hear from you. Email us an outline of your business plan and you could win a grant of $3,000 from Shivas to support your business venture. Are you a modern knight?
So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces shailiat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm, must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> Liat.com. What else do you need? If you like this show, share it with your friends. Watch your favorite shows on demand and in HD on Trident10.tv. My mom and my dad are always there. My sister as well uh, when I need somebody to help me with my daughter they're there and I guess at this point you'd wonder so where's the dad but he's also a part of my career because he's the sound engineer of the band he's my producer he's co-management uh, so he's always wherever I am so when we fly we fly together my manager my other half he's he's there for support because you need on spot on, on the spot support as well because something may happen a situation may arise and it's almost like you have to deal with it immediately. And you need somebody there that you can trust, that you can bounce ideas off of, to tell you, okay, you're doing the wrong thing, or maybe you shouldn't react this way, or maybe you should just take a breath, or you want something to eat? Are you hungry? Whatever. And that person is there. Um, God is a, a, a huge support system for me. It's, it's almost like that is the ultimate. When I can't go to my parents, or Brian, I need to be quiet in my own space and really pray about something or ask why, why is this happening to me or why is this, why are they doing that or whatever. And strange enough, I always get answers, you know, and I think that is something I really cherish a lot because not everybody feels that way or not everybody has a, a sense of spirituality because there are a lot of atheists out there and a lot of scientists out there that believe that things will evolve and you know everything happens the way it was supposed to happen based on science and different things like that but I really do strongly believe that there's an almighty and someone that created all of this. Well I think success for me is feeling proud of my accomplishments and I think I've accomplished a lot. Um, here I am, I'm a digital endorsee. Uh, I have a daughter, that is so amazing. I have a great career. I have almost 10 albums under my name and under my belt. I have a whole catalog of, you know, many, many hits. I'm a, a worldwide household name. Everybody knows who Destra is. A lot of artists that don't sing soca, whether it's hip hop or reggaeton or, or R&B or whatever, they know who Destra is. So I really think that in itself is success. Uh, I have a wide listening audience. I have a lot of people that look up to me. I think I've made wise choices, both as an entertainer, as an entrepreneur, as a woman, as a mother, as a friend, as a performer, you name it. I think I've been successful at it because I'm good at it and I've left a trail behind me. The sky is the limit is the w those were the watchwords of my primary school and rightfully so you get your foundation from your primary school and those were the watchwords. The sky is the limit. We're human beings we're never satisfied but at some point you're contented and at some point you're like yes this is what I've been looking for. The sky is the limit. Just come